everyone, welcome back to The Good Fight. I hope you guys have had a good week. I hope it's been filled with good food and of course, some good feels. So, we're carrying on with our new series, How to Meal Prep Like a Boss. And I thought today I would go through some really, really cool, high protein, healthy, packed lunch ideas that work really well when you're eating cold. So I get a lot of questions, often people asking me, oh, I'm going to work, I'm going to school, I don't have an opportunity to heat up my packed lunch, so can you give us some good, healthy, high protein meal prep options that work well as cold? So that's what we're doing today, guys. Let's get into it. So first up on the menu today, we're gonna to be making a super easy but delicious Cajun chicken baguette. That's gonna be served with a nice creamy Cajun dressing, which we're gonna make ourselves. All super simple and easy. Second up, we've got a tuna pasta salad. Very simple, very tasty, works beautifully cold. And then third up, we're gonna be doing a chicken quesadilla. It's a Mexican classic, cheesy chicken, peppers, onions, a little bit of spice, perfect, and also works very well cold. So let's get into the Cajun chicken baguette right now. So for the Cajun chicken baguette, what you need first is three chicken breasts, as you can see here. Now what I'm gonna to do to these is I'm gonna drizzle them with a little bit of olive oil. And then I have some Cajun seasoning. And in terms of the chicken, it's pretty much as simple as that. Might be a little bit tough to believe, but that is literally all we need to do to our chicken breast. We're gonna chuck that in the oven at about 180 degrees Celsius for 20 to 25 minutes. They should come out lovely, juicy, tender, and full of that Cajun seasoning flavor. So the chicken has been in the oven for 25 minutes. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see how it's come out. Looking pretty bloody tasty to me. What do you reckon? What do you guys reckon at home? Would you, would you smash or would you pass? I'd smash. So that's very hot still, so we're just gonna leave that to cool. Meanwhile, we're gonna make our creamy Cajun dressing. So the base of our dressing is gonna be Greek yogurt, so about three or four large tablespoons of that going into a bowl light mayo, about a tablespoon of that. Now this is super simple, like everything in this video really, it's super simple. We're just gonna use the Cajun seasoning, the same one that we used for the chicken. We're gonna put roughly a teaspoon in there, and then just to give it a bit more of a kick, citrusy kick that is, just a little bit of lime juice in there as well. Get your fork in, give it a really good mixer. Oh, that's gonna elevate the whole baguette. Elevate, elevate. <laughs> no, it's, it's beautiful, tangy. It, it's gonna, it's gonna elevate the baguette. <laughs> Chicken breasts down onto the board. Have you seen the board? What we're gonna do, we're gonna slice these babies up. So our baguettes are ready to start building. We're gonna start with salad as the base. You wanna cram as much as you can in for the salad. And squash it down so it doesn't take up too much room. And then we're gonna go for some chicken pieces. Look at that. Look. Like that. A little bit of tomato, some cucumbers down the side, and then finally, some of that lovely dressing. Because we don't want a dry baguette, do we? And there we have our Cajun chicken baguette. Looks absolutely phenomenal. Little taste, might be a difficult to put it in my mouth. Oh. Oh, I shotgun these ones. That's the one I shotgun for today. Absolutely delicious. So second up for today, we are gonna be making a delicious tuna pasta salad, and this is super simple and easy to make. So first up, we need some pre-cooked pasta. So I'm using penne, you can use whatever type of pasta you want. Um, so I've cooked it, I've drained it, put it back in the saucepan. I've drizzled with a tiny bit of olive oil, just so it doesn't stick. Um, so we let it sit, let it cool down a little bit, and then that's gonna be the base of our tuna pasta salad, who would have guessed? So, pasta, 
pasta's in the bowl. Literally, we're just going to chuck everything in the bowl. And it's going to be pretty much ready. So tuna, there's two small tins of tuna, um, which have been drained. Some cherry tomatoes. I've got some sweet red pepper. You could use any type of pepper, really, but the sweet one's just going to add a little bit of sweetness <laughs> to the dish. Again, who would have guessed? I'm stating the obvious today, the things. Um, we have some chopped cucumber. And then I have this lemon infused olive oil. You could just use some normal olive oil if you can't get your hands on this stuff. This just adds a nice citrusy kick to it. I guess if you can't find it, you could just use olive oil and then a squeeze of lemon. So we're gonna put a tablespoon of olive oil in the pasta, there like that. And so I think if we mix that up right now as it is, it's gonna be a little bit bland and a little bit dry. So we do have to add a little bit of creaminess, which is gonna come in the form of some mayonnaise. Hellman's light mayonnaise because we're trying to save on calories and fat content. So I'm gonna put two tablespoons of this in. I'm gonna season with some salt and pepper. I think adding some dried herbs is really gonna help this. I'm gonna go with oregano, dried chili flakes. A little sprinkle of those in there. And now, I think that looks pretty good. Have a look at what's in this bowl. One thing left to do now, and that is get stuck in and give it a good mix up. Have a look at that. That looks amazing. There's one optional extra if you want to push the boat out a little bit. It's not the healthiest option, so this is where you need to take responsibility and accountability for yourself with your food choices. If you want to cut back on calories, leave out cheese. But if you want to go that extra little bit, add a little bit of cheesiness to it, then go ahead. Obviously, I'm looking to push the boat out a little bit this week. Not loads, and it is lighter cheddar as well, so it's less in calories again. Just give that a good mix up again. Cheese just makes everything look a little bit more appealing, doesn't it? <laughs> Can't be that. So simple. Oh. That just came through as well. I'm happy with that. And that is our tuna pasta salad ready to go. You've got four decent sized portions there. So obviously that is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, if that's how you choose to eat them. Um, yeah, very happy with that. Let's move on to the third and final recipe of today, some cheesy chicken quesadillas. So heat some olive oil, about a tablespoon of olive oil up in your pan, and then we're gonna add our chicken breast in. The chicken has been cooking for about five minutes. We're gonna add in finely chopped red onion and two bell peppers. So, that's been cooking down. Chicken's cooked, the peppers and the onions are softened, they're partially cooked, a heat of seasoning, taco seasoning, whatever kind of Mexican um, pre-made seasoning you wanna use, get that in the pan and mix that into your veg and your chicken. And then we're just gonna leave that to cook for another three to four minutes and then remove it from heat. We're gonna build our quesadillas. Hello. Um, so we are over at the hob for a reason because I wanna use this cast iron to toast our wrap, our tortilla wrap. One good, awesome little tip is to put a little bit of baking paper on top of any cast iron, whether it's a griddle or a pan like this and it will stop it from sticking, because if you put that straight onto the cast iron, there's a high chance it's gonna stick, and your quesadilla's gonna be ruined, so. So, paper on the cast iron, wrap goes down onto that. So there goes in our filling. Got some beans, kidney beans on top. Some jalapenos which is completely optional. 
and then some more of that light cheddar on top. I'm gonna fold that over, give it a gentle little press down. And we're just gonna let that do its thing, toast it for about two minutes, keep an eye on it, make sure it's not burning, and then we're gonna flip it. So this is ready to flip. Hoo-hoo! A little bit came out, that's all right. Stick it back in. I'm gonna toast the other side for a few minutes. What toasting it does, obviously, it allows the cheese inside to melt, and it also gives us a nice, crispy, hard exterior to crunch into. Crunchy, gooey cheese in one mouthful. It's effectively a sandwich, really, isn't it? Of course, we're trying to make these as healthy and low calorie as possible. If you wanted to add a shitload of cheddar cheese in there, feel free. You could obviously get more cheese in there, but you can see there's nice gooey melted cheese. That looks amazing in there, actually. So what we do, cut it in half, listen to that crunch, note the crunch, and then you can just store it like that. And have a look at that little stack. Amazing. So, of course, we'll have a little taste test. Oh, I heard it back. I want these rather than the baguette. And we're there guys. We have our three high protein, easy pack lunch ideas that work well cold. So up first, we've got the tuna pasta. Second, we've got these simple chicken quesadillas. And then we have these Cajun chicken baguettes with that little creamy, super healthy Cajun dressing on top. That's me done for today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope you are enjoying the How to Meal Prep Like a Boss series. Of course, shoot us ideas in the comment section below um, what kind of meal prep options you want to see from us. If you make any of these, please send some pictures to us at the Goodbye Instagram, and we will, shall repost them on our stories. And uh, yeah, that's me done for today, guys. So until next time, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye.